Mackenzie Island of Australia, who will be our final competitor this evening on the parallel line. judging too objectively, I don't think. There's a lot of pressure on because it's the last performance of the whole gymnastic competition. Okay, uh, Canada's Philippe de La Salle has the gold medal wrapped up. Canada's Jean Choquette. Okay, so Lindsay Nyland is my name. Arcos was my gymnastic coach at primary school in Western Australia. I was doing a PE class one day and uh, he also was running a gymnastics club as an extracurricular activity at the school and he wanted to recruit gymnasts into the club. So one of the methods he used was to watch the primary school PE classes and to pick boys who he felt had the appropriate talent and ability and one day uh, as a part of our PE class, we were doing rope climb um, and Arkos would watch the rope climb and I was the fastest climber of the rope in my class. So he called me over after the class and said, boy, you should join the gymnastics club <laughs> with his Hungarian accent, of course. So Arkos fought in the Second World War. He's Hungarian, so Hungary were unfortunately caught in the conflict between Germany uh, and well, Russia following the Allied victory. The Soviet Union, of course, annexed a lot of countries in that Eastern Bloc, and Arkos was targeted as someone who was not supportive of the Russian regime. And he and some of his uh, colleagues ended up on a train heading off to prisoner of war camp. Arkos spoke to his colleagues and said, look, prisoner of war camp would probably be death for him because the Russians had a reputation of being pretty ruthless. He noticed the door to the carriage was unlocked and there was one Russian guard there with a gun to supervise the Hungarian prisoners of war. The guard got up to, they think, go to the bathroom. Arkos said to his, his colleagues there, look, I think we should jump off this train and escape. Arkos's friends who weren't gymnasts said, Arkos, you're crazy, we're not jumping off a moving train, we'll get killed, it was going fast. And Arkos tried to convince them that if they just tuck and rolled, uh, they would most likely be fine and survive the jump, but they were too afraid. But what they did say to Arkos is, we'll help you by making a distraction if the guard was to try and shoot you. So they did agree to do that. Arkosh jumped with his handcuffs on as he had to tuck and roll in a ball uh, down an embankment, then managed to jump up with his handcuffs on and sprint at full speed to the, to the woods. He did say that uh, he never was able to make contact with those colleagues or friends who went to the camp, so he assumed that they hadn't survived it. I knew that this performance was going to determine second or third place, those mental skills that you learn in the sport, when you get yourself into a high pressure situation, you can call upon those skills when you need them. Even though you realise that your heart rate might go up, you know how to consciously focus on what you need to be doing and not worrying about things that could go wrong. Fear is something that has to be managed in gymnastics and uh, yeah, there's certainly many times I recall that um, you end up, you know, quite frightened or scared of, of taking that next step. Then of course it comes down to just having the motivation, courage and determination to face the fear and not let it overcome you. Arkos said in his uh, you know, account of that incident that he felt only his gymnastic ability saved his life at that point. <laughs> 